Welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MVC tutorial on how to use partial views with drop down. Let's just start. We are in home controller now. In home controller, we will make a action wizard named list. Let's create it first. We'll create our action result with name list. Let's name that action result. Let's learn about it. Public action result list means it is publicly available action result uh, having name list action result. Uh, this is also a kind of function or a return type action result which is for main view of listing main view of listing we are using list here it is using a student context which which i have already made let's see its definition in definition of student context we have a db set of students and i have a student class let's see its definition or uh, student class which is attached with a table strings and having class name is student with key as id and yes name student name yes it is student it is and yes phone student phone okay let's move back to home controller and in our action result list after that we are just um, passing a view we are just passing view uh, at this stage uh, let's omit it we don't need it now we need it in our partial view okay now let's make a view of list mm, add a view with a uh, without a model we can use different template but since we are using partial view here we don't need any kind of template we just write hard code it um, let's create it as main page not partial view mm, in next mm, we'll use partial view it is creating a list with a uh, file name list.cshtml which is which is added in our home folder mm, that is list.cshtml mm, with the title list now let's put some little more code here I have already done uh, this uh, partial view with uh, simple levels in my previous tutorial and with the same thing I am doing this with drop down here for drop down we'll use this much of code I will describe it here let's make our font more bigger okay let's see in our list of CSS Gmail in first line we are using uh, object or whatever you say here we say model model I enumerable ASP tutorial dot model study string this means um, this string class is using here the uh, row of strings are used here that is for listing we must use i enumerable that is for number of rows if we need only one rows then there is no need to write i enumerable there i enumerable is for a list okay similarly here is another uh, list which is a select list item we have created a select list item here for uh, or to display in our um, drop-down mm. in this select list item 
uh, we have given the uh, variable name select selection list and in that selection list we have added two um, values they are um, in text it seems to be top five student and in value it contains the value of five and it is selected defaultly selected um, top five students get default selected if we write selected equals to true we can write this selected equals to true in second line also if we uh, wish to show top 10 students as a selected value okay we have two values that is top five students uh, and top 10 students with value 5 and 10 uh, with a displaying text top 5 strength and top 10 strength okay let's see it once more time okay and finally we have used that uh, selection list in our drop down list which will make a select element in HTML that is with a simple name Mm, selection list just give some text here in first parameter and in second parameter use the variable selection list and in third use a text which will be displayed if there is not default selected value here is default selected value as top five strings therefore no need to uh, use it or you can left it let it be it will not hamper and finally we have HTML attributes um, with ID drop-down that is we have used this ID as drop-down uh, for our on change event so we know um, that drop-down um, is um, changed that is selection is changed for selection change event we have used this ID is drop-down you can use any name I have used drop-down okay now let's mm, make another action result in our home controller let's make that action result another action result is like this And in another action result, I have given the action result name is underscore list with a parameter int id. Id is of type integer and it is used for partial view. To return a partial view, we have used this action result. Since underscore is not necessary, you can write underscore for partial views uh, action result, but it is not compulsory to do it. It is just a uh, convention or um, a pattern you can say but you can use simply order name also it is not necessary to put underscore list okay now in next line we have a uh, student context db equals to new student context this student context connects us to our database table which are the student list okay and in next we have a variable student list which keep the students um, students list uh, this db connects with this student context db and gets the students table and take some rows that is the number of rows we have passed here in id if we pass five as id it will return Five number of rows of students. Okay, in next line we have returned a partial view with object student list. This student list will be passed to our partial view. Now we need to make our partial view. Okay, this must done here for a controller action results, and now we will add a partial view of a template list let's create a view let's click on add view uh, let's give it a uh, view name underscore list and a template 
list and a model class a student you can use your model I have kept student model here and context is student context create is partial view and click on add We have created our partial view which has used i enumerable uh, in first line i enumerable is used for list mm, we are not dealing with create view create new it is just displayed when we use scaffolding in list so it will be easy to create okay there is a table with display name for and finally we have used for each similarly some links with edit detail and delete we are dealing with partial view not any other thing here so this much is okay now uh, since we are using partial view we m and we are dealing with our mm, we are dealing with our drop down the main motto of our this tutorial is to mm, load uh, load different partial view on different selection in uh, drop down if we choose top 5 strength then there must display top 5 strengths and if we choose top 10 strength then there must display top 10 strengths in uh, same div or same container without refreshing the page now we need to make uh, script or we need to write a script here for our drop down let's add a script okay here in our script we have used uh, drop down dot change event drop down dot change so that our drop down when we uh, select some value in drop down this function will execute or this function get triggered okay in next line use underscore norm as a var and this uh, variable is assigned to our drop down um, selected value here has drop down means our drop down that is selection and option selected means the that option which is selected and finally we get the value of that selected option if you select off five strings then we will get five as a value which will be alerted here or message will be displayed here and in next line we have used ajax with type get you can use post or get no matter and url in home controller underscore list action result similarly we have sent data that is id equals to rows number rows number is get uh, we get from here and id means the parameter used in our controller action list that is this id okay mm, and in a if all thing goes right then we will mm, go to success function and in their success function we will get the partial view data in this data variable and finally we put that data in student underscore list underscore container which is a div id Mm, we have this div id here mm, let's make that div id mm, we have missed that div id okay let's create it we'll put that uh, partial view result in this student underscore list underscore container div 
okay any error function we will alert something went wrong in controller now this much code must uh, do our job okay let's check it out Check it out. It's loading. Simply in our controller, we have two action result uh, one for simple display, and another is for partial view. Some internal work is going on. It takes little time. How much RAM we have, how much fast we have, our system. Mm, let's see again our this dot CSS HTML. We have list dot CSS HTML as follows model I enable with a strength class similarly selection list with name selection list a default selected value of top five strengths and We have our drop down which is using that selection list and which has ID drop down. Okay, let's see our list home controller list, and in that list, dot CS HTML, we have this HTML, and when we select top 5 or top 10 strength then this list of strength uh, will display here must be changed to the uh, partial view data that will be returned that is top 5 strengths or top 10 strengths let's click on let's click on top 5 strengths when we click on top 5 strengths it must display the top 5 strengths uh, rows but here is not displaying Oh, it is displaying that is on change event it is fired on on change event you have noticed that number of ro rows to show 10 okay oh here is displaying 10 number of rows for a strand and if we select top 5 strands uh, again showing number of rows to show 5 this is shown because I have used alert message box there you can remove it if all thing goes right okay now top 5 strands again top 10 strands top 10 strands and again top 5 strands top 5 strands without refreshing the page we have used partial view in according with our uh, drop down in this way we can use partial view in asp.net mbc with ajax and jquery uh, with drop down thank you for watching